Breaking Bad Season 4, Episode 4. You're about to get, uh, you know? Yeah, there we go. I'll pull that out. Mm. Well, get ready. Right. Get low. <laughs> so they don't instantly spot you. Okay. <laughs> All right, so it definitely looks like we most, li most likely have some type of rivals in the area now. Because who would know to hit that vehicle like that, All right? With all of those bullets, I would expect that you to at least get clipped once. Grazed a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> guys, this character is super interesting. No, he's not one of the good guys. He's not. Well, there are no good guys. There are no good guys. In fact. It's so quiet. <laughs> it's funny, even without Walt being here, she still sleeps on her side of the bed. That's a, <laughs> I guess that's a, that's a habit for you guys. Now, sweetie, don't worry, okay? We're not going to say one word about the bills. We just want to bring everyone up to speed, okay? All right, I'll see you soon. Bye. It seems like every single conversation that she now has with her sister is about uh, money. Uh, there has to be more than that, even though they're, you know, they're volunteering to basically pay her bills, sure, but there needs to be a little bit more than that in terms of conversation, because at least for the last couple episodes now, every single conversation is exclusively about money, and that was not the case before. You gonna split the eights? Skylar, please. Now, the mathematical principle known as the Kelly Criterion upon which I devised my own strategy. Not Bro, just split the eights. Just split them. Not similar to the MIT system. Well, you're not teaching them. You don't think it behooves me to be able to explain any of this? It behooves you to be a pro. That's all I'm saying. That's the fiction. So, chapter Yeah, but it means that he would know all of the things that he now knows. Chop. Don't chop chop me. Chop chop. Now, we both know jokes. that the first... Okay, this hand over here, we have a soft 18. The final decision is whether or not to hit or to stand. Hit it. Hit. Zero. Minus one. Okay. Now it sounds like he's uh, kind of dipping into the, uh, uh, the MIT method. I certainly more than understand how to count cards. Let's just keep right. going, okay? No, you know what? I'm in recovery. Remember? You shouldn't be I shouldn't playing in the first be playing. Book. And that is the fiction that we should be sticking to. You know what? Yeah, he's right. You're right. We're not leaving anything to chance. All right, let's get started. Got a lot of... She's extremely thorough and really good at being a criminal. But, well... Like, better than most. Okay, because criminals generally are not, like, super thorough or intelligent. They miss things. She's not missing anything. Got a lot of ground to cover. What is this? I still we wouldn't trust her on the stand. We've got to be on the same page. If we have the gambling story. Did you take money, Walt? You remember Gretchen and Elliot? Because I seem to recall that you'd rather sell drugs than take help. Fine. Each be responsible for certain portions of the story, and then we can uh, we can hand off so we don't leave anything out, and it'll seem the most natural. Nothing about this is going to seem natural. I'm going to be honest here. It doesn't seem natural. You're putting too much effort into something that uh, you shouldn't. I think the less effort you put into it, the more natural it should appear. Okay, so because I'm going to launch with... Because now it just looks staged. Yes, the exciting... Okay. To which I'll say... We want to tell you the whole story. It's a doozy, so hold on to your hats. Badly written script. Do you like that? <laughs> In an amazingly written show. But obviously, that was not on purpose. It keeps it light while letting them know to expect something big. Uh-huh. Oh. oh, yeah. Doozy. 
It's a doozy. Oh, it's a doozy. <laughs> right. It's good to remind them and to get their sympathy right off the bat. We want them to understand why you could do something so stupid. Now, after why we couldn't tell anyone. I'm terribly, terribly ashamed of my actions. <laughs> yeah. Two terribly's. It's well, yet, well, you have to bring it home. Show contrition. And why? And why am I so ashamed? Exactly. Do I really need to answer that? Oh, well, I, how do you look bad exactly? And where, where is the I slept with my boss bullet point? Add that one in. Add that one in right now. You, you know what, Walls, you're right. I can't seem to find that anywhere. I'd say you're coming out pretty much ahead. Nah, I don't know. I still think yours is worse. I don't like, don't want June, you're thinking less of me. At least okay, okay, obviously, because people, some people don't take jokes here. All right, obviously, Waltz is worse. I'm just saying it because it's wild, all right? Um, I think they're both equally on the, the same track of, of absolute disgustingness in terms of people, right? I, I've learned I have to fill in those blanks specifically for you two. You want so after you say how very sorry you are, in your own words, of course, we're almost to the end. I'm sorry, but if you ever, or if anyone ever has to do this much to to speak to another human being, it may not be worth it. I, like, don't even go over there today, all right? Because this it is, it is absolutely not worth doing all of this uh, for another human. I'm sorry, it just isn't. Um, I don't understand the value in it, um, you know, just be you. If they don't like you, forget it. And you know, specifically in this situation, at least, uh, obviously Hank is sick and then Walter's using his narcotic money to pay for a DEA agent, um, you know, to get better, let's say, right? Um, that in itself is wild, um, <laughs> extremely. Um, but I still would not even have the conversation. The conversation, I think, is irrelevant. And I say we should enact how we're... And this scene is dragging on way too long, guys. ...feeling, especially to Hank. I'm doing the best I can here, Walt. And yes, I'm thorough. Overly. Maybe lying doesn't come as easily to me as it does to you. I don't believe it at all. Not with your level of conniving and, and this cunning nature that you seem to have here. Uh, absolutely not, ma'am. Okay, I believe that it comes completely natural to you based off of all of what we've encountered uh, since you found out that he was a criminal. Okay, I'm telling you. Mm -mm. You guys want to sit? You want to sit? Sure. Yeah. All right, let's go see it. Oh, hey, let me. Hey, hey, no, like. Don't help him. Come on, guys. Just down the hall here. Now that one there, that's uh, that's rhodonite, okay? It's manganese in a silicate. Cool. But its most stable state is plus two, which is usually pale pink. You know, sometimes I love Walt, okay? Like sometimes, it's just, it's like, you know what? I respect it. I appreciate your wealth of knowledge, Walt. I honestly wish I could, see, I don't, well, I don't know. Uh, with minus all the narcotics, right? But I would love to sit here and have a conversation with this man based off of his overall random wealth of knowledge on random things. Can you imagine how random thing? Oh, that's the dream. That's the dream, right? That, right here, this, this conversation is the dream, I'm telling you. Random wealth of knowledge about randomness. Exactly. Whatever the hell he said. <laughs> right. Anyway, you... Uh, Tell us more, Walt. You get the idea. Ha 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 Walt. That's... Uh... It's coming full circle, guys. I'm guessing uh, probably with pro probably at any time now, you know, he's Hank is going to find out as Walt. He has to now. It's getting too close, guys. Yeah. Walter H. White. Fake tears. Of course, she, she dabs her left eye. Man, I'm terribly, terribly ashamed of my actions. <laughs> I love Would it. you? Excuse me, please. I need to use the restroom. Oh no, of course. Ugh. Let's see what you have here. The lab notes. Oh, sorry. I thought you might have fallen in there. Uh, no, no, uh, just uh, 
Like, was hey, it man, gone for that long? some big stuff back there. It's quite a tale. It couldn't have been easy to, you know, talk about. Mm. Thanks, Hank. Right. I can't talk to you, Hank. Same goes for me, you know, if you ever want to bounce anything off me. Right. That's a lucrative know, a case. This would be a lucrative conversation. Berg. Anything, really. Goes by the name of Heisenberg. He even has your name, Walt. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, pretty weird, huh? Two third cup turbinado sugar. Cookies? <laughs> it's a recipe for vegan schmores. Vegan uh, All kinds of crazy crap in there. You got like a, you know, top. No, Gail. Okay. I don't think I've ever really had too much of an issue with you until right now. How about this? Well, I guess if you're not making it for the public, you're not trying to like, you know, poison people with vegan nonsense, right? Then, you know what? If you want to eat the s'mores, I want you to be happy eating your vegan nasty s'mores that, that that probably taste disgusting and the texture is probably all wrong, right? But I just want you to know, do whatever you want to do with your life. It's your life. You, you had it. It doesn't exist anymore. I'm not trying to say it has anything to do with the vegan s'mores here, right? Maybe that was a bad, that was, let's not do that. But let's just say this here, okay? As long as you're eating it and not attempting to give it to anyone else, I think it's fine, okay? That's it. Vegan bacon and all. If, you, if you're someone who likes consuming vegan, you know, products, do your thing. Just don't share it. Ten recumbent bicycles. To WW, my star, my perfect silence. Walter White? WW. Walt Whitman? I mean, how do you figure that is, yeah? Woodrow Wilson? Woodrow Wilson. Willy Wonka? Willy Wonka? Walter, Walter White? White. <gasps> you got me. That's a, this is a crazy scene. You actually do. W.W. It's a poem by Walt Whitman. You're WW. You freaking brainiac. <laughs> you freak well, you don't know, but we already know because Gail kind of already quoted something similar to this earlier in the show, mentioning that he loved the poem by Walt Whitman. You're a brainiac. You don't know that, though. <laughs> he does. Skip that day in school or something. I don't know. <laughs> but it really means Walter White. Let's stop playing. <laughs> so, um, you think this Gail person is your Heisenberg? Yeah, I think so. Okay, good. Then, Walt, you're off the hook going forward. Um, as long as he now is looking at specifically Gail, Gail is gone. Uh, We're good. God, I wanted to get this guy. <laughs> Bro, put some pants on. Bro, get these people out of your house now. We're 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 good now. Friends within five blocks of that place, they would have picked me up by now. What about the casing? Or oh, casing is how, how many times did you shoot him anyway? Once. Did you pick them up? No. Listen, we we, we gotta go over this oh. step by step. Everything. Jesse, I need you to concentrate. This is very important. Did you knock or ring? Knock or ring? Uh, knock. Okay, okay. That's very good. Now listen. The reason why Jesse is the way he is right now is because of what happened with Gail, right? So he's doing everything he possibly can to kind of move on past that incident. But obviously this conversation now is just bringing him straight back into that deep, dark abyss of wildness. <laughs> Quick hundred. That was Hank's one and only lead. Now, what if he puts two and two together and he goes after Jesse for the murder? Goes after him how? On his rascal scooter? <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, that's crazy. Sounded insensitive. Uh, yeah. But if he goes after him, got to figure your brother-in-law is smart enough not to go down that particular road. Goose egg, bup kiss. 
that's what the cops got, I wouldn't worry about it. Why am I the only person capable of behaving in a professional manner? Right. Well, anyway, you slept. Because you come from kind of a professional realm. I said, you look at things differently than other people do. Family, Jesse, myself. Then my name never comes up with those guys, does it? <laughs> Saul, really? And meanwhile, we're buying this stupid car wash. Oh, man. Yeah, you do have a little shit creek action happening. I'll tell you right now, a lot of it has to do with Jesse. Um, everything got got super crazy when you brought Jesse into the lab. Right? But I guess the whole time they were looking to take you out. Well, maybe they were not looking to take you out at that time. But I think uh, things started getting really terrible when he decided to bring Jesse in. Jesse has been the drama, the entirety of the show. Poof. There's a guy who can make it happen. They call him a uh, disappearer <laughs> for a substantial fee. And I do mean substantial. Oh, like the guy from, um, uh, the guy that was in the beginning of the show, uh, when Jesse was trying to pay him with like cash from a trash bag. So you and your loved ones can, no one would ever be able to trace you. No, be clear, this is an end game, if you get my meaning. I mean, there's no coming back. <sighs> That's an option. That's an option, guys. You want his card? Let's go ahead and say yes. Yeah, let's go and take that card. <sighs> well, I mean, from what you told me, it sounds like uh, Pinkman is first up in the imminent demise department. Correct radio frequencies and microwaves and cell phones and stuff are getting you. I mean, you could be strolling through security at the airport on your way to visit your grandma. Or hey, wake today. up, bitches! Bro, you are talking too much. You are an idiot, Jesse. I'm sorry, Jesse. You are an absolute invalid. Oh, he's going to get robbed. This is what this uh, secondary character that we've never seen before. This guy right here. Watch his face. Yeah, he's about to, he's, he's about to get robbed, guys. No doubt. Bro, they... Okay, firstly, if you're going to do something like that, at least get the ones that are kind of internal where they can't actually see that you're moving the camera or actually hear that you're moving the camera. Like, how does the house even get this... How does the house even get this dirty, guys? Okay, look at the wall, all right? Like, what did you have to do to, to do that to the wall, specifically right behind him? What is this? Oh, I don't know. Like, like, what is it? I what is this, guys? How throw this house away now, Jesse? Don't even walk inside of this this mess any longer, bro. You're gonna have to like take all this drywall off the wall, bro. You, that, has, that has to go now. Okay, throw all of this away. This looks like liquid, okay? I have no idea. Obviously, a lot of hands have touched this area, hence this is the reason why it's so dark. So that's what they're trying to point out, right? Um, but my main concern is, how does it get that, like, what is on their hands that's, that's causing this level of just absolute filth and splatters? <laughs> Are you, I, I don't know, guys. Oh. Right. Jesse, this cannot, con this can't continue, bro. This can't continue, Jesse. Where is everybody? I invited your guests to leave. That's great. That, th thank you. Thank you. Get somebody to come in here and clean this up. 
please. I beg you. Okay. Thanks. Uh, Jesse? You want to know what's next? To like straighten up and fly right or toe the line or some other crap that I'm not going to say. Oh, yeah, Jesse, they're going to go after you hard if you if you keep this up. I'm telling you, um, because you're even more of a liability than ever now. Is that what your little show? You know how come I know? Because you went through the trouble of putting a blind right. on him. Mm. Mm -hmm. Going back to bed. Well played, Play sir. Out. What can I do for you? It's Pinkman. He's become increasingly incautious. Mm -hmm. He's a risk. A liability. Absolutely liability. I know he and Walter come as a team and that Walter won't like it. Let's not break into the house, Walt. Bro, look at his property. Bro, did they just make this man disappear? I mean, normally this don't leave your phone. Just... Lying around all willy nilly now. Gonna ask where we're going? Nope. Bro. Maybe you should ask because I'm sorry, but I'm not sure you should be trying to delete this man right now. Okay? I'm just gonna be honest. I get it. You're sick of him. He's careless. He's a liability. Uh, he's acting in a very reckless manner. We understand that, right? But nothing good comes from this because Walt is going to stop. Okay, there's going to be a tantrum unlike the tantrums that have happened before. Okay, it's a whole new tantrum, new level of tantrum that we can hit here. Teal orange. All right. Okay. I don't know what's happening here at the end here, at least. Um, I do hope that Jesse does make it back. Walt is not going to enjoy uh, working at all. How about this? Enjoy? He's not going to work at all. Okay? Um, he's not going to do anything for the business. Uh, so Jesse cannot be deleted. I'm sorry. He's not allowed. He's the one that can't go. All right? Um, I'm not sure Jesse has that same loyalty in reverse. I am not sure. Um, I, well, I guess he does, based off of him deleting Gale, at least, right? But um, I do think that uh, he would work, do, do this, even if Walt wasn't doing it, is what I mean, right? Um, I think Hank is going to most likely be finding out that uh, Walt is Heisenberg sometime soon, Um don't know how um, or where the fingerprints that Hank mentioned that he found in the uh, that he found, but APD found in the apartment. I'm guessing were the other guy, the guy who uh, um, Gus deleted with the with the blade. Right? I'm guessing those are probably his odd fingerprints, most likely. And I truthfully don't think that uh, Jesse has to really worry anything to worry about, other than the fact that apparently uh, the shell was uh, was found. Right? If you guys want to see the full length reaction, it is on Patreon at the second tier. And uh, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly.